Banjo Tui. When you're just in the mood to go back to previous areas and destroy rocks in spiral format. That's why I bought this game. That's why I have this game instead of the money I had at the time. Backtracking, my old friend, I've come to talk to you again. I'm sure you missed me as much as I missed you. And what better way to get backtracking started and to get such a ball rolling than by freeing a Jinjo that's been panicking since who knows how long ago. Hello, Blue Jinjo. You are the first of seven. That's probably a family, mother, father, and five kids. Hard-working father. Loves children. Alright. Welcome back to more backtracking. I know you guys missed this as much as I did. And I know you guys missed our humble home of Spiral Mountain as much as I did. We need to check on that place. Grunty's henchmen have been slowly but surely destroying it. It is their turf now. It's time we claimed back what's rightfully ours. How did they even do all this? I mean, look at this. We roll into their bodies, and they vanish into oblivion. Yet they're capable of destroying as much as, they've, as they have destroyed. Ugh, different... Lord works in mysterious ways, I say. You know, Bottles, you don't have to hover around your charred, burned body. I mean, you can go on. Fly around, you have the ability to fly, you know. Anyway, so let's get a move on. This poor little guy has been pro he's probably the most long awaited guy that we have not helped yet. This poor fish that we were actually planning on eating. But we have taken a different route. I don't know, you've made it this far, man. I don't know how in the world you've been able to survive under this rock for as long as you have. In game time, it's probably been, what, four weeks or something? But then again, Gruntilda lived under a rock for two years. But Grunty also has many abilities outside of fish, such as being able to rhyme at the drop of a pointy hat. But perhaps fish have such abilities. Extra bubbles. What is this, Mylon's secret castle? He invested all his jiggies. He unfortunately has quite the gambling addiction. He, he always says, just one more game, one more round. Before you know it, he's invested all his jiggies. That's how he lost his family. That's how he ended up on our barbecue. So as you can see, we now have the ability to kick our bare paws and swim just a little faster. We also have more bubbles. So, fish apparently have the ability to expand our lungs. Or perhaps our gills. No, not gills, then we'd be able to breathe underwater. Fish have the ability to increase our lungs and our breathing capacity. So what more is there to do back in our nice little home here? Well, ages and upon ages ago, we took a gander at this little gate. No way to go beyond it, but now that we have explosive eggs, we can continue to damage our home of Spiral Mountain. And behind said gate is another 64-bit cartridge. He's just prancing around, having a good old time. Living the life. He's a Banjo-Kazooie cartridge. If I was a game like that, I'd be happy. I'd be prancing around, having a good time, too. It's a good thing he's not... I don't know, Jeopardy for the N64. He probably wouldn't be too happy. 
Little did he know that today would be his last day of prancing around in his 64-bit self. Now he has been turned into a interrogative egg. Well, I'll be. It's an egg with many a question mark. What does it do? What mysteries does it contain? I guess we'll have to go back to our favorite fat hen a little later and find out. For now, we're going to revisit our favorite friend with a f spine that wrinkles the more he's opened. That is our good friend Cheeto. We have been going around and collecting page upon page. We have collected seven so far, and he needed five to give us our first cheat. Spill the beans, buddy. Yeah, first the dough, then, then what you asked for. So with five pages, we get our first cheat. Feathers. The text doesn't wiggle like it does in the first game. With all his pages gone, Cheetos just lost the enthusiasm. Can't say I blame the poor guy. It's like the equivalent of having all your skin peeled off or something. Here's our list of cheats. Feathers. Not the most creative code name, I gotta say. The cheat codes in the first game were long and creative. Like, don't be a Dumbo, go see Mumbo. But then again, we wouldn't want to have to spend 20 minutes having to put in a code. Just because, it, just to, to trade in for a little bit of creativity. Feathers, short and sweet. Not much effort on our part. So that does it for Spiral Mountain for now. Put in our last cheat. Or, we got our first cheat. We have freed the fish from his rocky prison. Now, we gotta move on to more areas that need to be revisited. First and foremost, we've got the Wooded Hollow. Alright, so whenever we have an egg full of riddles, there's only one person that I can... Uh, well, well, first it would help if we actually went the right way. Oh, Eggie, your gigantic egg is so hidden. It should be put in an area that's not as... that's a little more visible. Cutscene. Must be important. Hello, my favorite hen. My favorite purple hen with light pink spots. Alright. Gonna throw in our new egg. She's gonna sit her massive behind on it. And free a code from its prison of egg. Is it he? Yeah, I'm sure it wants to be free after you sit on it. Oh, I'm sorry, poor Eggie. Special Heggy Award Bregol Bash. B and B again. Well, let's try this out, yeah. Watch you walk. We know how fun that is. Alright, B and B again. Okay, I know Kazooie... Abusing Kazooie at this point... We should be kind of accustomed to that by now. And even Kazooie should probably be accustomed to it, but... That's just cruel. I'm sorry. I mean, at this point, we might as well just have a move where we... Punch Kazooie straight in the face. I'm surprised she even stays by our side as our sidekick. Hello, my Ham Temple. So, what to do first? Got quite a bit of backtracking, but... We'll do the boring... letter entering. So I'm not as enthusiastic to do that. So... Hope you guys are big fans of my Ham Temple, because that's probably the world we're going to be seeing the most. And these heads with darts still haven't given up. They see that we're back think that they have another opportunity. Little do they know I'm going to casually walk by them and do nothing. Alright. F for feather. The letters are scrambled. 
so it's not that easy. It has a tiny bit of a challenge to it. Careful. And there we go. Double the feather, double the flight. So now we have, what, two... Oh, wait, we gotta put it in first. I believe that'll give us uh, 200. Oops. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's right. We already had a code that we put in. That was the egg game. Alright. More feathers. So, yeah. Now we got 200. Well, we haven't really flown that much yet, but... I hope your wings aren't losing their flight ability, Kazooie. So we are going to need your feathers pretty soon. And by pretty soon, I mean 17 videos from now. Alright, more rather long-awaited backtracking. It's over in the prison compound. A little while back, we met a mole by the name of Dilberta. Learned of her situation, but did nothing about it. This rock has blocked her from going back to her part in her, I guess. You're welcome. I know how difficult that was. You could have taken the long route by now and walked all the way around to World 2 and you probably would have gotten there like forever ago. Okay, let's watch her go inside. I mean, you're a mole. Couldn't you have dug a hole? So this takes us to the world we were just at. The Prospector's Hut. Hey, we found your, uh, whatever relationship she is with you. Or, no, she's missing. Okay, never mind. Would she die on the way walking in here? Oh, she got behind us somehow. Guff beans. You guys aren't, you know. Yeah, that's right. You guys can go back to. I'm. I'm gonna leave before I think of any kind of thoughts that could go along with that. And they dance for eternity. Pretty sure they never stop dancing. Which is how we should all live our lives. We should all be dancing every moment of every day. Which is now, from this video on, I will be dancing the entire time I do my Let's Plays. If I ever sound out of breath in my videos, you have your answer. So, one last order of business. I guess I'll show this to you right quick, just to verify. That Jiggy we just got was, in fact, a Glitter Gulch Mine Jiggy. So now we have nine Jiggies there. And one left. Just to... You know, Dilberta was in here, so just to verify, that was a World 2 Jiggy. One last little order of business before I... head out of here. Almost got pecked by that thing. Oh, those reflexes. Banjo's got cat-like reflexes. This little back area... Oh my god, a Jiggy staring us right in the face. Couldn't really access this area before. But with our new ability... to spirally destroy rocks... we have access to a little underground area. This is kind of an interesting Jiggy. Actually, no, it's not at all. We have to roll into these columns, and on the outside it will be shaking them. One of them has the Jiggy on it, but which one is it? It's not that one. What about you? Yes. On the outside, we have the ability to shake an entire pillar. What a powerful roll we have. Grunty's gorgeous face lets us know that this is timed. We just gotta slowly but surely get the Jiggy to go to a area low enough to where we can grab it. Wish we could roll in it at an angle to where it would just fall on the ground, but... Can't make the game too easy. I 
And I think this is the last one. I think it goes on that last pillar. And then we can just backflip our massive bodies onto it. And that does it. Now the tricky part is finding the staircase again, because this area is so dark. That's the only problem is... Okay, there we go. It's kind of hard to see the area to walk back up, but... And just backflip. There we go. Last G. So let's take a quick gander at Mayahem Temple. We now have everything here, although... We are not bidding farewell yet because we will be revisiting this area quite a lot with all the cheats we get. So that about does it for here. Back to the wooded hollow. And it's time we visit we visited, yeah. It's time we visited good old master of all the jiggy people. Look at that. We needed 8 jiggies for our next world. We have more than twice that. These Jiggies are not as challenging as Mr. Jiggy Wiggy painted them out to be. Oh no, these puzzles are getting a little more challenging. The pieces are not all end pieces. What are we going to do? How will we solve these puzzles? thing is you gotta line them up. A lot of times I end up going to the one right next to it. Like, yeah, I meant to put it there and it rendered it as the other one. And there we go, we reveal our next world, the land of corn on the cob floor. Well, I remember when they showed corn in the cob floor in the trailer. That, that's why I rushed out to get this game. I wonder if these effects ever do something he doesn't want them to do. This shaking. I feel like it would probably destroy a couple of houses. Who knows, maybe that's... Maybe the drill wasn't responsible for the Grey Jinjo's home destruction. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing that you can vibrate places that are not right by here. That does it for here. You're welcome to open the worlds at your own accord. But I don't want to spend 10 minutes opening worlds and putting in puzzle pieces. So we're going to move on to new frontiers. Let's jump in our silo with the pine grove. Now let's stand outside the entrance to world 3 and not enter it and say something like, next time we're going to enter world 3 and be all dramatic about it even though it's not as exciting. So yeah, next recording session, World 3. It was apparently closed. No entry. Not on Banjo's watch. Thank you for watching. See you later, alligators.